Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and the rebuild of our unfinished Sea Line SC35 boat. In our last video, we cut and fitted the main bulkheads to form the heads and aft cabin. We need to fit these as the factory did not fit all the internal bulkheads, as this boat was only really designed for display purposes and to make the plug for the internal fiberglass liner. This means we need to cut and fit all new bulkheads back where the factory intended, and then we can start to create an internal wooden framework for all the furniture to fix to. Well, that's the plan anyway. So let's pick up where we left off last time. So it's a few days later and we've got this bulkhead glassed into place and that's set up now. So we've got a little bit of sanding to do. We've got some a little bit of pokey bits here. So we just need to sand this off just to tidy this up. You can see a little bit back there as well. So that just wants trimming off. And we've also got this corner here that wants trimming as well. But overall that has turned out really nice. Obviously we will have to do the other side as well. So next what we're going to do is the epoxy on this is also set up now as well. This has had a good few days to set up. You can see where it actually oozed out through the uh, screws. So we know that that definitely uh, got plenty of epoxy in there. So what we're going to do is sand all of that, just tidy that up. Also sand where it's seeped out the bottom here as well. So obviously we don't want to mix epoxy and uh, polyester resin. So we'll get this all sanded up as well. Once we've got all that tidied up, I think the plan is, is to take this bulkhead out here because we actually need to trim the bottom of this bulkhead so just here what we're going to do is put a glass bandage on here onto the floor so we're going to sort of trim uh, probably two or three millimeters out of this router it out or maybe use a planer and just create um, a sort of little uh, recess two or three millimeters as we've done before and then we can glass down onto that piece of timber there and then after that we'll be looking at the uh, back side of this bulkhead and maybe get in uh, another sheet, that other sheet of ply on there and get that epoxied on as well. So uh, let's get after this first of all and get this tidied up. Okay guys, so a few hours sand in there, pretty boring stuff. But now got all of this sanded, got the epoxy off the bottom here, which was quite hard going actually getting that off. We have to use a flappy sander and then a small triangular sander to sort of try and get the little bits in the corners. Also just cut a uh, down here as well, just to create that sort of 10 millimeter gap down the edge. Just got a little bit more 
here to do just to get that little bit out there that's glass but we'll get that out with a chisel no problem at all also sanded the stringer as well and then uh, Richard's been busy in the aft cabin um, having a snooze because I can't see that he's done anything else so Richard actually has sanded all of this and he's also prepped the new piece of plywood that's going in sanded all the back of that as well and actually we realized we'd cut this hundred millimeters long so he's cut that down by hundred millimeters um, just masked off and then we're ready now just to epoxy this into place so we'll get an epoxy mix on get that into place and also we need to run an epoxy bead down the inside here and also down here and we'll get this bulkhead screwed and glued as well Alrighty, so that is now epoxied into place, all set up. We just popped a little screw in the bottom here, because obviously when the epoxy's, before it's gone off, it's actually quite slippery and it kept sort of pinging out. So we just popped a little screw in the end there and that's held that in place. And that is now perfect. Obviously we've got a little bit of excess epoxy, just where we've spread it up inside that gap there. So what we'll do now is just give that a quick sand. Okay, so we've cleaned all that up now. So we've got this all sanded down at the bottom here. So all of the excess epoxy resin off there and also off the back edge. And also Richard's just cleaned up this side as well. So that now we've got some, we had some resin under the floor here down at the bottom. So that's all been cleaned up, all sanded off. So we're ready now to actually glass that all into place, but we're actually out of 
resin at the moment so we need to order some more resin and then we'll be able to get that all glassed into place so while we're waiting for the resin we're going to move on to the heads we've taken out the two doorway pieces of akume plywood from here and what we're going to do now is build some framework for the back of the toilet so we're going to have uh, sink here or sink unit here so we're going to switch this around actually because in the original boat you had um, a toilet on the angle here uh, and then you had a little cabinet here and a shower here and we're going to do it the different way around so we're going to have a cabinet here and we're going to have the toilet back to the wall toilet just here just because it gives you a little bit more leg room whereas here on this corner it's sort of a little bit compromised on sort of knee room especially if you're sitting on the toilet so yeah that's the way we're going to go We've seen that done on other boats similar size it looks really nice so we've got some of this 18 millimeter um, this is a lightweight uh, poplar marine plywood so um, not particularly cheap but it is lightweight and it's absolutely perfect for creating this sort of framework at the back we will coat it as well in some sort of protection resin or something similar and what we're going to do is create a, a sort of like a spider frame that sits behind or flush with this molding here and then we'll be able to run panels down onto it so we're going to cut some more of these strips and we're going to profile this as well rich has just taken a profile and we'll make up this back frame Quick update, so I'm just in the workshop. While Rich is cutting those pieces to go in the heads, I'm just cutting four lengths here, or have cut four lengths here, ready to go in the aft cabin. Similar sort of thing, so it's gonna be up against the whole sides, and this will actually form the bed heads in the, um, in the aft cabin. So I'm just gonna cut four lengths, 100 millimeters. Um, I've cut a 10 millimeter uh, angle on the end of here, and then I'll offer those into the boat and do a quick dry fit.
I'm in the back cabin and we've now got our framework for the uh, bed head. So this is the two beds either side. There'll be a centerpiece in here that will make it into a double. And this will form the support structure, if you like, for the uh, head of the bed. So that is all done. We're not going to fix that in yet because we've still got a little bit of clean up to do here uh, and also on this side. And what we'll do is we'll glass all of this in one go. So we are waiting for that resin. So once we've got that glass, we'll be able to get this all glassed into place and we'll also get this treated as well. And while I've been in the rear cabin, um, Richard has been making this frame in here for the heads. It's quite tricky because he's had to rebate it just so that we slot in sort of nice and uh, we want to be flush on the front edge. So he's rebated all of these edges and it's quite a sort of complicated organic shape as well. So taking a little bit of time and also this back is sort of curved as well. So what we've done is broken it in down into two straight runs. So that should make it easier for when we come to fit our uh, vanity unit here and toilet and everything here as well. So next what we need to do is put the uprights in and then we also need a top as well. And what we've done is just set up a little workshop so we've got our bench that we made before put a foot on that and we've got this, the saw set up here as well which would just mean that we haven't got to keep running up and down the stairs which not only is time consuming it's also pretty tiring Okay, that's going to be a wrap for today's video guys. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. See you on the next one.